Snestrunk. Hi, everyone. Everyone, hi. Welcome back to Snestrunk is playing A Link to the Past, and I've had a lot of whiskey, so this is going to be pretty embarrassing. So, uh, if you clicked on uh, some idiot plays Legend of Zelda after a shitload of whiskey, you're in luck, because I'm... This is a, it was a very poor decision to choose this game to play while drinking because the first thing that goes in uh, when I the first thing that goes when I'm when I'm drinking is my sense of direction. I'm going to get lost very easily, and uh, it's gonna look it's gonna look real bad. It's gonna look real bad. <clears throat> so uh, I hope you enjoy that. Oh, and God bless the dash function. That's right, I got the boots from. I'm recording this in one big session, going all the way back. So I'm actually this is posting like in the, I think in the first week of May or something like that. This is like this the middle of March. <laughs> I really I can only God the dash button is so awesome. I can only record these when I, you know when I have time. Right now I have time, so I gonna do a big long thing commentary and i'm getting progressively more and more wasted as i go along oh fuck you guys don't you dare okay thank you no heart huh anyway um the yeah the the week this posted or the as i'm recording this uh what the video that posted this week is uh earthworm jim and that was courtesy of a very kind uh, Patreon request, so thanks to, I think it's uh, AB1986 that requested it. That was a mistake, I should not have dashed all the way through, but let's, uh, let's take these guys on. That's what she said. How dare you use your shield for its intended purpose? God, I'm fucking terrible at this, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, Earthworm Jim posted this week, and I got a really interesting comment from somebody, um, a very valid comment, um, that brought about like a big uh, point of discussion I want to uh, get the book right now I want to get the book of whatever to get inside the desert thing I think right but first let's pay this uh, weird kid a visit he hangs out here and what's up bro you want to jam I can I can play the sword I got, I got a bug catching net a butterfly net I can play that so yeah, that guy, you know, that's pretty weird. <laughs> that's pretty weird. Oh, whoa, a bomb. I'll be damned. You don't usually find bombs in bushes, I don't think, do you? That's unusual. Anyway, uh, where the hell is the library? That's not the library. The library. Notice how people pronounce that funny? Anyway, um, anyway, yeah, the, uh... Um, video that posted was, uh, oh, is this the, the Quarrel Brothers? The, f the fussin' and a feudin'? The Hatfields and McCoys? I wonder if anybody even gets that reference. Yes, quarreling. I remember, this is, this is like, when I watched my friend Dan play this, um, this is like his first, the, uh, that was like the first time I read the word quarreling, and I was like, what the hell is he talking about? That's what I'm, one, you know, obviously everybody misses being, a well, I would, think you know most people would miss being a kid unless you had an absolutely horrific childhood whoops i did not mean to do that i wanted to do this you guys got to see my retron 5 menu i feel so exposed oh god no this is gonna be terrible uh um uh shit is this the right way <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> oh no they're all going to laugh at me. Oh, I might actually make it. What? 19 seconds? Why can't I just grab the fucking heart piece? That's horse shit. I think your fucking stopwatch is broken. Asshole. So I can't talk to her again. I have to actually go in here and go back and try again. Is there a shorter way? Maybe I can... We'll give you something good. Oh, uh, yeah? Can I go this way? And keep heading in this direction? I don't, I don't want to... Shut up! I, I want to pick up the sign! I can't pick up the sign. Okay, this was a disaster. Motherfucker. 
One more time. <laughs> yeah, 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 shut up. Let's go. Uh, wait, do I go... Uh, you know what? Just fuck this whole thing. <laughs> that went well. You know what? Just fuck everything. I'm done. Ugh. You know, David Cross, the stand-up comic David Cross, has a great bit um, where he talks about meeting the band Harlow. And if you remember who the band Harlow is, you... Hey, it's the book of whatever. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. If you remember who the band Harlow is, you're... It's just they're not worth remembering and you know that so why are you, why do you remember who they are i only remember them for the sake of the joke because they're a joke uh anyway david cross talks about like uh going back to he's really really wasted and he goes back to his hotel and he's arguing with the hotel manager about something or other and he gets to the and he's he talks about getting to the point where he's just like <laughs> his brain just shuts off and he's just like you know what fuck everything i'm going to sleep and I'm kind of at that point right now where I just want to say fuck everything, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of my way. Anyway, going all the way back to um, what I mentioned, I got a comment on my uh, Earthworm Jim video that posted today. Well, anyway, I noticed that... Um, you know, I like doing those kind of videos where you look at cl a classic game that everybody likes and you, you know, you examine it from an as objective standpoint or as ob objective as I can poss you know, as I can get, as I can summon. Uh, and it, it's just a fun little challenge. And I, you know, like, is Earthworm Jim worth playing today? And it turns out, yeah, it is. But the thing is, this guy, um, very nicely said on my channel, hey, this isn't why I come to your channel. I come to your channel to find out about games... What's with this guy? Okay. I come to your chan- he- anyway, he says, uh, I come to your channel to, uh... Find out about games I never heard of that I might have missed out on. And, sure enough, like, the stats kind of back that up. Like, when I- when I look at the age group of people, you know, on YouTube statistics, like, it's all people my age, 34, 35. Uh, and, you know, older, or, you know, just in that general area. It's not people looking to, like, oh, I've heard of Earthworm Jim. It's, it's, people don't care about that. So that made me wonder, you know, about the general nature of criticism. Uh, especially gaming criticism. Uh, but especially in this day and age, where we've got the internet and Netflix and all this stuff. It's like, do we need critics anymore and let me let me give you an example of what i mean oh this is really this is one of my favorite parts of this game it's so s silly and stupid <laughs> i wish for the biggest cupcake in the whole universe oh there we go I just... Uh, oh, great! You freaking locked me in! That's not what I wanted! Ugh. You know what? You should be able to use the book as a weapon. You should be able to hit people with the book. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be a sweet ROM hack if you could just, like, <laughs> kill these things. <laughs> anyway. No, it made me, um... No, that guy was... It was he made a good point. You know, it's... it's. I can see how... You know, maybe it's like... Oh, you know, you can take that kind of sentiment personally, like, why don't you like my video, or you know, whatever the hell, but, um, no, he was like, I don't come here to n read about games I already have made my mind up about. I want to know about stuff that I haven't heard of, like ROM hacks, or, like, Super Famicom stuff that never made it to the, to North America, or to anywhere else, for that matter, and I was like, and sure enough, yeah, that's, that's kind of like what people are what people want from this particular channel and the stats kind of bear that out so um and then i uh at the in a semi-related uh note um i post at the racket boy forums and somebody there posted um i had a really good post about uh they had you know they shared a link on their blog they posted um about the pathetic nature of Gaming journalism. Gaming journalism, you don't need me to tell you that journalism and gaming is 
horseshit. It's pathetic. It's useless. It's like transparently bad. And it, you, you all know about the famous meme with the, the dude sitting there with, uh, I don't even know the guy's name, but uh, he, uh, with the Doritos and the Mountain Dew, and it's the most pathetic thing ever. Um, that's what fucking video game journalism is. Like, if I want to learn, and, like, if I want to learn about, um, if I want to know to play Dark Souls, or if I want to play Breath of the Wild, or whatever, I'm not... I am not going to go to a... I'm not going to go to a critic. I'm just not. I'm going to ask my friends about it. I'm not going to go to fucking Kotaku. I'm not going to go to IGN. I'm not going to do any of that shit. Because all those sites suck. They're all in the bag. They're all... It's all a big circle jerk. They're all in the bag for each other. Does this do anything at all? I guess not. Huh. Nothing happened at all? Okay. Well, whatever. Just... There to be decorative, I guess. What is this, a Pier 1? I mean, come on. Anyway, um... Yeah, no. If you go to Kotaku for reviews, you need to, like, seriously examine what, you know, what, what you're doing. Because you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> um, right on. Nice. That was, like, a lucky shot. I did not... Um... That uh, discussion led me to ask uh, the forum, like, hey, who do you think is the, tr the most trusted critic And Oh, bullshit! Drunk in his eyes, uh, Spirilla, you must... Oh, shut up. That does not help me. I kind of hate Zelda games sometimes. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, I think it's the one on the far left, right? Not the far left, but the one next to that. I'm gonna get all this, all, all the booty in these jars, regardless. It's, yes, okay. Right on. Anyway, I asked, like, who is the most trusted, the quote-unquote most trusted uh, critic right now in in gaming? And, you know, people are throwing names. I, I threw out Yahtzee Krosha just as a guess. And uh, I like him a lot. He's not because he just because he's funny, but because he has no inherent bias towards shit. Or at least, you know, somebody's gonna leave a comment on this video saying, "Oh, you think he's unbiased? Oh, that's adorable," you know, or whatever. Like I just, it, listen. I I watch his reviews for Steam games, you know, and stuff like that. That's it. But um, the. Uh, and somebody threw out like Tom Chick or and people like that. So it's I'm if I light these, does this do anything? Why are these here? Hey, I actually remember to do that. That's like very unusual of me to actually remember something. Oh, we got a full house here, ladies. Sorry. Too bad, so sad. I'll grab one of ya. They're probably sick of each other anyway. Just did that other fairy a favor. Um, anyway. How many times have I said anyway? Somebody out there must be doing a count. This is a heart piece down here, right? With a vulture? Yes, it is! Whoa, whoop -de shit A heart piece. Let's kill this thing. Um. Anyway, yeah, I asked, um... What is, uh... Who do you think is the most trusted critic in gaming? And somebody made... Uh, Wait, is there something? This is where I want to go next, right? Whoa. This is where I want to go next, right? But I have to get... That's right. The big uh, treasure chest is... The Glove of Love. If I remember correctly. Um, anyway, the... Uh, Jesus, can I say anyway anymore? Um, somebody made a really astute point, as they often do on Racket Boy... They said, the most trusted critic is the game's beaten thread here at Racket Boy. And I'm like, you know what? You're exactly right. It's... Nobody gives a shit about critics anymore. That's, like, kind of an antiquated thing. Critic... Criticism, like, reading stuff like that is kind of outdated, isn't it? It's like... It, and it's true. Like, if you want to know about, like, what movies to see or what games you want to play who are the first what's the what's your first instinct to do it's to ask your friends what they're doing if they've played it what they think it's not going to be some random yahoo like me 
So, going all the way back to the Earthworm Jim video uh, that I mentioned earlier, let's dash the fuck down here. Yeah, love that. Yeah, we got the Dragon Master Key or whatever the hell. Um, yeah, so it's like nobody... It's, it's That's kind of an antiquated notion that people are going to find some Yahoo on the internet, you know, for to recommend popular you know it's like you don't need me to tell you that earthworm gym is worth playing today that's it's i did the you know the guy was very nice where am i going i just did it you know i made that video because it was a specific request but you know it makes me feel kind of silly for doing like videos about super metroid and stuff like that it's like of course they're worth checking out you can it's it's easier than ever these days to fucking oh the glove of love yeah you can feel its strength that's a little too much information. TMI there, game. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't, um, I don't, uh, you, you get, I, you'll hopefully understand this rambling that I'm doing here. It's, but it's a good point. It, and I understand, you know, I want to go back, don't I? It's down here. It's not over there. I'm telling you, my sense of direction gets is so horseshit when I'm. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, we use the glove to get these stones out of the way, and then we are on our merry way, and we fight those big sandworm things, if I remember correctly. Boy, I had this uh, big. Uh, I think these move this way, right? Right. That that there we go. Okay. I, I had this almost perfect. Like, I, I, here's how I had this planned out in my head. I'm going to do a Link to the Past. <laughs> it's going to go awesome. I'm going to have a Link to the Past drunk Let's Play. God damn it. I have a Link to the Past drunk Let's Play. And then I'm going to talk about the guide. And then I'm going to talk about, and, you know, Nintendo Power and all that sort of stuff. And then and this, when, I, when I start the second part, I'm going to... Oh, there better be a heart in that last one. There better be a heart, motherfucker. I need a heart. Give me that heart. Give me no. Oh, Jesus. Well, I certainly earned that, didn't I? God damn it. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I had this planned out in my head. Like, yeah, I'm gonna talk about like super deep, like criticism, the nature of criticism, and all this other stuff. And <laughs> it worked out. It sounded like a good idea in my head, but it turned out to be a rambling mess. Anyway, if you're out there and you're watching this, um, first of all, thank you. <laughs> God bless you for making it this far. Oh, bless your little heart. Um, but, uh, oh, fuck this. I'm gonna die. Shit. I'm gonna die. Wait. I need a key. Where's the key? Does this motherfucker have it? There it is. Okay. I don't have to kill that guy. I can just keep going. Okay. Oh, that means boss. Oh, shit. This is where I have to wait, right? Or... Right on. See, how come they sail over my head sometimes, and other times they hit me? Oh, fuck this! That guy... That symbol means boss time. That's misleading. I want my money back. Bait and switch. Yeah, this guy takes... Uh, Red implies that he takes more hits. All right, this is the part where you light all the things on fire. Gah! It's always jarring. Oh, my dogs are very concerned about me right now after I made that noise. What do you guys think about that, huh? Ulysses and Clyde? Clyde? No, Clyde. I don't have any food. Yuri? You too. All right, here we go. It's boss time. Sorry, didn't mean to summon HC Bailey there. Let's just do the. Ah, I was too late. Yabo, yeah. Boy, it is windy outside. I can hear the fucking screen door, like slamming against the wall. I should probably concentrate on what I'm doing, huh? Instead of worrying about how windy it is outside. 
I don't think this is... Uh, should one of them be dead by now? Oh, fuck you. I hit all three of them. Oh, that was real smart. God damn it. Am I going to make it through this? Am I going to get out of this alive? I may not. There we go. That's more like it. Yuli, get away. Son of a bitch. Yuli, I can't pet you. I'm doing stuff. No, yes, I can't pet you. <laughs> Not only do you get a boss fight, you get my dog voice. What a... Yuli, no. It's funny when you name a dog something like Ulysses. And, uh... You come up with your dog. It's after a certain amount of time, you know. It's like your unconscious mind says Ulysses is too many syllables. It needs to be something s short and stupid sounding. So that's why we come up with Yuli. Like, like I wonder if Ulysses S. Grant was called Yuli. Oh god damn it! I have to deal with this beeping and this dog trying to get me to pet him while I'm playing. Fuck you! There, finally! One of these should be fucking dead by now, I was gonna say. Thank you! Alright, we got one left. Hopefully he only needs one more hit. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about that! I'm gonna die. This is all gonna be for nothing. <laughs> I like how it makes like an ow sound when you hit it. Ow! 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 Oh. oh, I survived. Oh, and the heart piece made the thing go away. And I caught the pendant. Everyone's a winner. Congratulations. All right. So now what do I do? Anyway, all right, cool. I <laughs> stumbled through that. What? You get hurt by these things, really? God, if that boss didn't kill me and these fuckers did, that would be really, you know, pretty embarrassing. But normal. Hey, I wonder what that is up there. Oh, right on, cool. I think he can only get up there uh, with the dark, uh, with the mirror. It's one of those things where you warp to a certain spot. Yeah, you get back here, motherfucker. I should probably heal myself again. What else do I need to do? I mean, I'm not going to be able to make it to Death Mountain, or through Death Mountain, um, and not have this be like a 3,000 minute video. I don't want to fucking waste that much of your time. I think I'll go get the, uh, slippers. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> oh, I can lift these up too, right on. I think there's a stairway over here, isn't there? Lift it up and there's a thingy. Must be this one. Right on. What does this do? Oh, it's this pissed off guy. Right on. Fuck you. Cool. Yeah, it is super windy outside. God damn. I mean, it's New Mexico. It's always windy. Oh, yeah. This guy tells you. Go get the fucking slippers. That's pretty clever. It's like, you you come out... Uh, that's a good placement of that. It's, you come out of the boss fight with this new ability, and you want to crush everything in your path. And that guy tells you, hey, since you're crushing everything in your path, I'm going to reward you with this knowledge. Is there anything in here that I can do right now? Let's see if I can solve this ridiculously hard puzzle. Can I get through this? No, I can't. Because I am... <laughs> God damn it. I just don't care. Apathy is your friend. And now I'll never get it. What game is it where... where you, ugh, I, somebody will tell me. Oh, a heart piece. Neato mosquito. All right. And fish! Fish is good for you. Can I catch these? 
I should be able to catch these, right? I think? Right? I don't remember... Oh, fuck you! Stop fucking hitting me. I think I need to let one of the... I need an empty bottle. Right? Oh, fuck. Motherfucker! Get back here! I can't kill the fish either. Oh, come on! I... Oh, great. Yeah, this is all going according to plan. Really. This is a, such a disaster. Get back here. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Now, can I use my... Oh, come on! I followed him up here! I can't use my bottle as a net and catch the fish. I swear to God you can catch the fish. Is that Ocarina of Time where you catch the fish and keep it in a bottle? And the bottle holds, like, milk and shit like that? I'm getting my Zelda games confused, I think. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. I hear you laughing out there, motherfuckers. Fuckers. Oh, yeah, you can smash these, too, with the dash. Forgot about that. My dog is very... <laughs> Ulysses, that was a... My dog had a very frustrated sigh right now. All right, I'll get all of you. Give me the guilt trip, why don't you? My dog just gave a very frustrated sigh. He's very sick of me <laughs> rambling to nobody right now. <laughs> this is how he is when I'm on the phone, too. Bam. Ugh. Anyway. Let's go up to the lake. Um... That's not Lake Helia. I thought Lake Helia was in the southwest. Or the southeast, rather. It's not... That's not the... That's the northeast, not the southeast. Oh, God bless the dash function. Why couldn't... Ocarina of Time... Listen, I understand Ocarina of Time is this beloved blah blah blah, the greatest whatever of whatever, I don't care. But why couldn't Ocarina of Time have a dash function to start the game with? Why can't you just... Like, oh, it's her. It's this witch. Let's, uh... Yeah, that's kind of cool. What's going on in here? But the the thing that kills me about that game is all, the, the times you have to go all the way across the stupid giant field. And your, your stuff is too overpriced. I do not want to shop here. But uh, all the times you have to go all the way across the stupid giant field at the beginning of the game... Um, right on. Oh, yeah, here you need the dash function to unlock this. Does this have anything in it? No, it does not. Uh, is there a point to this little area down here? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why? What is this, a mud wrestling pit? Are you fucking for real? Like, what is, what is that? Why? Let's bomb these motherfuckers just for fun. <laughs> I'm getting... Oh, nice! I don't need your magic, but thank you. I'm starting to get punchy. I'm so out of it right now. Let's... I just want to... Uh, let's check out what's up here, and then let's... Uh, you know, I've got... You know, I've been able to unlock this area with my new stuff, so let's look at it, and then let's call it an episode, shall we? I think I need some, like, pizza or something to sober up. There should be a music change here, in my opinion. It should, this area sh does not warrant the, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. This area does not warrant the, uh, typical overworld theme. This needs its own theme, in my opinion. Which you can wipe your ass with if you'd like to. Oh, I can't go that way. Fuck. It's probably, uh... Where does this go? God damn it. Where does this go? God damn it. It goes nowhere. <laughs> of course it's the fucking... Path of... It's the path of most resistance. So, let's, uh... Yeah. This needs... I... I I feel very strongly about this. this needs its own because the Zora music in Ocarina of Time is very memorable. Is it really stands out as something cool? Whoa! Here we go. We got Hacksaw Jim Duggan eyes over here. Five hundred. 
Well, this was all for nothing then. <laughs> all right. If you saw this coming and you saw that I didn't have 500 rupees, you probably closed the window like probably eight minutes ago. You saw that guy doesn't have enough rupees. He's gonna. Or maybe you skipped ahead to see my reaction. Seriously, I'm not that familiar with this game. I mean, I am, but I'm not. You know, it's one of those things like. Kind of like the Lufia games, where it's like. I've played through them once. <laughs> I've played. I should say, I've played. I've 100% of them once. Hey, give me that fish! Alright, well, I'm too far gone to continue this particular episode. Let's get the hell out of here, and, um... Oh, boy. This went poorly. This went better in my head, you know? It went. It really did. It went better in my head. I was going to be able to come out here. I was going to be able to swim. I was going to have some, you know, rollick and frolic in the... in the... in the water and everybody was gonna be happy but instead I'm just running into walls with the same old shit that I've always had anyway I want to thank you for watching if you've made it this far if you've made it this far what are you doing watching this uh, thank you and please for me have a good rest of your day